he if he won all three and lost one. I feel like I thought he went two and two. He went two and two, but it, I feel like it wouldn't have mattered if he would have went one. I feel like honestly, the fact that he's in the situation, period, he would he, he was gonna lose it regardless. This is a weird situation. I know he's been battling this for a long time, and like the Marvel and Disney Plus heads have been uh, really uh, paying attention to this because he is the uh, kind of the center of the of the Marvel universe. He you know he is uh, Kang, the League of Kangs, and uh, it's like the number one villain. He's basically like the new Thanos. If you've been playing, uh, paying attention to the Marvel Universe. And now that he's going to be out, they wonder if they're going to bring in Doctor Doom or some other, uh, you know, super, like, top villain. Because Kang the Conqueror is going to be done. Unless they replace him with another actor and say, like, some multiverse reason on why his appearance changed. I mean, they could do that. But we'll have to see, are they going to replace him? Or are they going to have another super villain kind of take his uh, spot as the head villain? Idris Elba. He's in everything. Of course. He can do he can do a couple more movies. He was pretty good in the office. I did like him in the office. He, he was in the office? Towards you the didn't end. See the Idris Elba office episodes? Was that towards when the end? When he was battling with Michael? And uh that was probably like season five or five. I want to say five. Is that when he was corporate? Yeah, yeah he was good. like from higher up. And mm-hmm. then like he came in to like monitor him. I remember that, but part. it was it was hilarious. But we're talking about Jonathan Majors. Man. Enough about that. You don't you got a video? We got a video right here. Let's see what, what is this do. video about. More about the cases going on. You know, it's gonna get you into the verdict. Let you know about his cases and let you know about the charges that happened. Let you know more about the two other four charges that he uh, got hit with. Then we'll come back and let y'all know. And would you like to say anything on Miss Majors' behalf? This is America. We heard the judge order the jurors to stand up that a verdict had been reached. Uh, the foreman then gave what you just noted, the count one through four. Uh, Jonathan Majors was facing assault and harassment charges that carry up to a year behind bars. He was found guilty on counts two and four. That was for assault in the third degree or recklessly causing physical harm and harassment in the second degree. As you know, this trial stems from the March 25th arrest of Majors for allegedly assaulting his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari. Jabari had claimed that that night before the two got into a physical altercation inside an SUV after she grabbed Major's phone because of a text she said she saw from another woman. It was at that time that Jabari said she suffered an injury to her head and her right finger. So again, just to rehash, uh, the jury deliberated for three days. Uh, There were six jurors that found Jonathan Majors, 34-year-old actor, guilty on two counts, facing up to a year in prison. He is scheduled to be back here at Manhattan Criminal Court for sentencing on February 6th. Again, we are waiting for him to walk out. So if I cut you off quickly, we're just trying to see if he has any comment. As of right now, he has not had much to say in terms of his reaction Uh, In court, it was very stoic. I'm looking right now in front of an SUV that's pulling up, presumed to be for Jonathan Majors Mm. and uh, likely his now girlfriend, Megan Good, who's been by his side uh, throughout this two-week trial. Megan Good, I forgot. Um, But the family Mm -hmm. walked by, friends who were here in support of him that we saw on his uh, side from the very beginning did not have any comment. They obviously uh, did not look excited or, or happy about so you know nobody was excited or happy about this whole situation the whole situation but i mean like we said before i wonder now that this whole situation is over with how long would it take before megan good leaves because i mean she was i feel like she was only there for him to, so he can at least only show there a good for image, what? an image and of course you know you, you feel show, like since now he don't have an image she's gonna drop him no not not that image like you know show that he's a good boyfriend he's not that type of type of evil person oh, like he, he paid her I mean, you know, to do the whole little uh, Lori Harvey be situation. Like, oh, look, I got a girlfriend now that loves me, so like, I'm not a bad guy. You know, like Lori Harvey. Pay for attention. You know, people who do it, uh, Asian Doll. Yeah, I guess. In, in Black China. I mean, hey, it's what they do, they do it for clout. But, I mean, it's just crazy what's going on. I mean, the counts that they, uh, they hit them with, they hit them with one count of, and these are all misdemeanors, they hit them with one count of um, harassment. And one count of uh, reckless assault, which was crazy. We saw the video. I mean, it, mm-hmm. we, we're not going to show it, but it did look like they were having an arguing contest at one point. It looked like he tried to forcibly put her in the car, and I think that's what got him like a what a harassment or the reckless assault. Reckless, reckless assault because when he put her in the car, uh, he didn't watch for her head, 
and she hit her she head, did... or she hit her, uh, yeah, pretty little, much. Uh, she like popped the top of her head on the, uh, the top of the car, uh, entrance. And so he got in trouble for that. But then like, they were still arguing. He took off running away. She tried to chase him down. And, uh, I think that's like all the video they got. It's like him and her running around and kind of, you know, making a scene, I guess you could say. So it's just really messy. It's crazy that no matter who you are, it don't matter if you're an average Joe or a millionaire and the star of a of a corporation. This bitch is still gonna go through your phone. They <laughs> they still I, gonna try it. I, well, what I, you I what, thought, what you gonna learn? I, I thought they said black men don't cheat. I thought my coach told me that. You know what's crazy? Jonathan Majors is thirty four. I'm thirty four, and that nigga look old as shit compared to me. Like it's just everyone crazy. put in the comments below who looks older, Jonathan Majors or my. I didn't know he was thirty four. I thought it was in his. I thought it was in his early forties. I mean, so I compared get, to Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan, how old is he? Like twenty eight, thirty. Look Let's it up. See. Yeah, but I mean, it's disappointing to see that. Uh, um, you know, he got in trouble, but I guess you know you can't be doing thirty six. Who Michael B. Jordan. Well, he works out better. <laughs> he, what are you talking about? He was Creed three. I know you've seen him. Both. Some of some of it is just just genetics. Go. AI? I'm, I'm trying to be trying is to be AI? Nice. No, it's genetics. Green screen. But Michael B. Jordan gets green screen. No, he's not a Kardashian. <laughs> he doesn't have uh, people that Photoshop him after every photo. Uh, <laughs> nah, but I mean, back to what we were saying. I think, yeah, basically, they were think people were thinking like, why didn't he go for self defense? And when you seen the video with him like physically grabbing the girl, lifting her up, and pushing her in a car, like he did it so effortless, effortlessly. Yeah, it, I mean, he's he's a, a pretty sizable dude, and you know, she's kind of a the damsel, a, nor a normal small girl, and uh, so you know, he does look like a monster compared to her, and you know, him forcing her in a car definitely wasn't right. You know, and, and then she did bump her head, which, you know, could could have mm -hmm. been uh, bad. Uh, and uh, but, you know, it just looks like it was a total ruckus, you know, and her sh her chasing him down and not, you know, giving him a chance to get away. And it's kind of weird. I kind of give him like both fault. I say they're both at fault. And then his charges are like 50 50. That's what shows both. So is, is it kind of like both are at fault? And as far as the charges go, I wonder if his uh, lawyer will be able to negotiate. Uh, where he does no, no jail time and just gets probation. I don't think I don't think Chris Brown went to jail because it's not like it's like it's like accidental assault and like non planned assault and then that's what why was, I was, that's what uh, yeah it was non planned that's that's why I was that's where the other charges got dropped that's when uh it's intent when you uh, uh, assault with intent that was one of the charges that got dropped so that's what they dropped because it wasn't it was, he didn't do it on purpose he, it wasn't something he did on purpose it was just yeah he was trying he to get it. her in a car and get in a way but he, he just, shouldn't he even did that forceful. he should have just ran away. So I mean, just, it's basically, just, safe to say they grab, run. when they grab your phone, just run. Call your friend, and then when I, well, you're gonna, you know how they do in track where they're running and then they hand the baton off. Yeah, you got to do that where your friend's driving and he pops the door open and you just jump in. Mm hmm And then you know, hop on off. his phone and then find, get on your iCloud and just race the whole phone so she won't find your nudes. Or be like Travis Scott and throw your phone in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I got insurance, baby. It's all right. It's all right. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> No, nah, but with, before we move on, the crazy part mm -hmm. about this is just like the case we're gonna talk on talk about later, Tory Lanez. He didn't take the he didn't take the stand. The girl took the stand in this case, talked about her that's story. Always, that's, that's why they always lose, man. It's like, but he, I, I don't know. It's kind of a lose lose situation because it's lose. like a girl's always gonna be more convincing if she's like crying her eyes out and like calling you a monster, and then if a guy's up there and like, no. -uh. No, I didn't. You're probably gonna look super guilty. So I guess that's why he didn't take this. But stand. you're gonna lose regardless. So I mean, lose. he's an actor. He should have gave it a shot, man. Rely on your acting skills. A, a pretty much. Jonathan Majors. I mean, I guess a normal guy would probably bow out. But Jonathan Majors. You gotta fight, you man. You gotta fight. That's what people be losing. They don't be fighting. But it's all right, man. We ain't finna fight. Uh, what's the uh, What's um? So I guess it's gonna be on. So wait, wait. How the, bad is it? Is, is this like? Is this so bad that he won't be able to do net Hollywood movies anymore? He got to move to Netflix. He's gonna be Netflix. He's gonna be a Netflix actor. Damn. You heard it here first. No, um, I don't know. I mean, you think he's dropped by Disney and Marvel, but they're quick to pull the trigger on anybody. Anybody that has like a whiff of bad press, they're firing him. 
And so uh, Disney's really bad about that. Mm -hmm. And it's like with him, I don't know how like a normal company would look at it, but the I Flash, think. And what about the, the, the dude that plays the Flash? He always gets oh, in he, trouble. Uh, Ezra Miller? Yeah, he's always in trouble, but you know. And he, he always finds a way. He always finds a way. I, guess with the I mean, I think he should do what other people do. Like, Will Smith? Uh, wear a dress? No. That's how he get away. Stop being like Dwayne Wade. Um. No, what? I'm talking about what most people do when they get sam semi canceled or in trouble. They kind of disappear for a little bit. Jonathan Majors should just go on vacation, and you know he's made enough money, like with his hit movies, that he mm -hmm. could literally retire now and be fine. That he's, sucks. That, he's that wealthy. No, I mean he doesn't have to do that. I think he should go on vacation for a solid calendar year, maybe a year and a half, and then come back like nothing happened and start doing movies again. Mm. And at that time, it's like people are like, oh yeah, didn't he get like acquitted or like half win or half lose? I don't know what happened, but he's back. I'm happy. People will be like, they don't even remember what happened, but they're just happy he's back. Maybe DC can sign him. They need help. I don't think he's down that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd rather take vacation than working for DC. <laughs> DC sucks. Zack Snyder couldn't save him. <laughs> hey, comment below if you feel the same way my co host feel. That is hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. But uh, are you ready to move on? My co host's favorite artist, you know, I don't love.